In this video, we'll balance the equation for ammonium phosphate plus lead to nitrate. So we're going to use a bit of a trick here to make this a lot easier. And you can use this on double displacement reactions that have polyatomic ions. We're going to count the ammonia. So we have this ammonium ion right here and right here. We're going to count that as one thing. So I have three times one, three ammonium ions. Phosphate, same way. We have phosphate here, phosphate here. I have one phosphate. I have one lead. Nitrate, I have it here and here. So I have one times two, two nitrate ions. On the product side, I have the one ammonia, phosphate one times two, three lead atoms, and one nitrate ion. That makes it a lot quicker and you're less likely to make errors. So we have this, let's balance it. Looks like I could just put a coefficient of three in front of the ammonium nitrate, one times three. That'll give me three of those, one nitrate times three. So now I have three nitrates. Let's fix the phosphates. I could put a two in front of the ammonium phosphate. So now I'd have three times two, that would equal six, but I'd have one times two, that would equal two. So I balanced the phosphates and these aren't balanced here now. I think what I'll do is I'll change this to a six. So let me do that. And that'll change the ammonium and the nitrates. So I'll put a six here, one times six. That'll give me six ammonium ions there. And then one times six, that'll give me six of the nitrates. I'm almost there because now I could put a three in front of the lead to nitrate. One times three, that'll give me three lead atoms. Those are balanced. And then two of these nitrates times three, that'll give me six. I'm done. This equation is balanced. So you can see the value of counting these polyatomic ions as just one thing if they appear on both sides of the equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NH43PO4 plus PBNO32, ammonium phosphate plus lead to nitrate. Thanks for watching.